So in channels and URLs, when you edit, you can see two things: channels, YouTube, and partner URLs. Channels are nothing but it's a group of URLs that you want to create and add it into block list or inclusion or exclusion. You can do it. For example, there are thousand sites which you don't want your brand to be shown in that sites, uh, like any weapons or any drugs related. So you found out and uh, you made it a channel like blacklist these channels. You named it. You made it as a exclusion here. That's the reason it is in this symbol. Now YouTube URLs. YouTube URLs. You found a few YouTube URLs. You don't want it to be included. I mean, when you create a YouTube campaign, you don't want your YouTube ads to be displayed on few YouTube channels or content. So what you can do, you can select those URLs and you can exclude here so that it will be applied to campaigns, IVOs, and line items. So these channels and YouTube URLs, whatever it is shown, so it will be followed for the below levels. So here it is shown, right? It is logged for campaigns, insertion orders, and line items. When this type of option is useful, for example, during COVID time, a brand wants to advertiser want to exclude fifteen hundred sites which is related to COVID, and he's do he don't want to show their ads. So what he can do is he collect the list of COVID related. Website URLs. He create a channel and block list it so that he can all at once he can apply to all the campaigns, IVOs, and line items. There may be multiple ten or twenty or hundred campaigns running under this advertiser. Instead of going to each campaign or below levels, if he apply at advertiser level, all the levels gets applied. In the same way for YouTube also, whatever you do it here, it gets applied to the YouTube campaigns.